Hello, everybody. Last week, we all heard the news of the dramatic bridge collapse in Dresden, Germany. On September 12, 2024, at around 3.08 a.m. local time, a 100-meter section of Dresden's Corolla Bridge collapsed into the River Elbe. While this may have seemed like a sudden disaster, recent research has uncovered early warning signs that were missed before the collapse. In today's episode, we'll dive into how satellite imaging could help us inspect structures like this and potentially prevent such incidents in the future. The Corolla Bridge is one of four bridges crossing the Elbe River in downtown Dresden. The collapse is causing significant traffic chaos in the eastern German city. Remarkably, no one was on the bridge at the time, so there were no injuries. However, both car and ship traffic on this vital waterway have been halted indefinitely. The Corolla Bridge, originally 400 meters long, was a key transport route for trams, cyclists, and pedestrians. It was first built in, in 1895, then blown up toward the end of World War II to slow the advancing Soviet army. Reconstruction took place between 1967 and 1971, with recent renovations carried out from 2019 to 2021. Now, authorities are racing against time to remove the collapsed sections of the bridge before the upcoming flood season, which could complicate the removal efforts due to rising water levels. Early warning signs. Could this have been prevented? During my research, I discovered some crucial insights into how this disaster could have been prevented. An insurtech firm called Value.Space, which specializes in satellite-based risk assessment, conducted a study of the Kerala Bridge from September 2021 until just before the collapse. Their findings were alarming. Value.Space uncovered a distinct movement cluster on the western superstructure of the bridge, with shifts of up to 23.5 millimeters per year. Starting in October 2022, these movements showed an unusual pattern, indicating a growing instability in the structure. Additionally, stress accumulation on the northern side of the bridge was detected, which should have prompted immediate inspections. Despite regular inspections by Dresden's Road and Civil Engineering Office, the specific section that failed was only scheduled for renovation next year. Unfortunately, the collapse occurred before those repairs could be initiated. The use of satellites to monitor stresses in bridges and other infrastructure is a relatively new technology, but it's quickly proving to be a game changer. The recent findings from the Dresden Bridge collapse serve as a test case, showcasing the potential of satellite monitoring. If adopted widely, these technologies could provide an invaluable tool for keeping vital infrastructure safe. One of the key methods in this monitoring process is satellite interferometry, which allows us to measure even minute deformations in structures with millimetric precision. This technique could complement traditional methods of measuring and monitoring structural health, adding a vital layer to early warning systems. To put this into perspective, the U.S. alone has 54,560 bridges classified in a precarious state. That's about 9% of the bridges in service today. Given these numbers, adopting satellite-based technologies could greatly enhance how we maintain and monitor this crucial infrastructure. Satellite imagery isn't limited to bridges. It can also be applied to monitor roads, railways, and even residential or commercial buildings. Anywhere there's continuous movement of the ground or deformation, this technology can help detect early warning signs, potentially preventing disasters. For example, in 2021, a parking lot at the Hospital del Mare in Naples, Italy, collapsed, leaving behind a massive 2,000 milisquadre sinkhole. Post-collapse satellite data showed that the ground in the affected area had been unstable since 2018, with movements of 5 millimeters per year. These findings highlight how valuable satellite technology can be in detecting and mapping risks. The results from these case studies confirm the usefulness of satellite technology in risk assessment. By detecting structural weaknesses and ground instability early, authorities can manage geological risks more effectively. This provides both public and private entities with the tools to inform, raise awareness, and issue alerts well before disaster strikes. In conclusion, while this technology is still evolving, its potential is undeniable. 